Totally Accurate Battle Simulator is one of the best battle simulator games ever, and in fact, I think it created the genre. I've been playing it since 2016, but I haven't played it since December of 2022, and that's because, well, there was no updates. But we just got a new update, or rather, it's coming on Wednesday. Wednesday, January 17th. But the new content comes in the new huh? units, or rather, unit creator things huh? called Neon. The Neon faction is here. So today, we're gonna be recreating the original Neon faction, going into the original campaign, beating it. And if we beat it with our original units, we're gonna get some even more powerful Neon units, including an incredibly powerful boss unit. We've gotta recreate the originals. Now, original Neon guy was just a dude with a blaster. Everything else was pretty standard except his hit points, which were relatively low. We create a Neon faction, we put the Neon unit in it, and then we can place our units like so. Now, quick testing out, seems like Neon lasers are better than muskets. This is going in a good direction. We just have to create more units. The next Neon unit was a laser sword guy. So when we search Neon, we see we have a number of, there's almost too many swords. Like, look at all these. Yeah, that's a giant sword. Should we make it two-handed? Probably. Now that looks more like it. Now let's see him in combat. <laughs> let's try this again. Yeah, that works. Now, original Neon guy didn't have any, like, clothes. I guess we could give him a mohawk. Or weird choker necklaces. You know what? You get a mohawk for coolness. But surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, there aren't any other Neon clothes. So, this guy had 80 hit points. And we've got another one. Now where this is gonna start getting tough is making the Tesla coil guy. Do you guys remember him? There's a stasis storm, but I don't know what this is. Okay, he freezes them. That's a very cool new weapon system, but not the original Tesla coil. Charging carnage, plasma pulses. I guess we could go with the thing called Tesla torrent. And this would be the closest to the Tesla guy. It only hits one guy, so we're gonna have to give it a special ability. I think it's the Thor Lightning? Okay, <laughs> it's <laughs> not really what we had in mind. This one's called the Barrage Blaster. This is gonna be harder than I thought. This one's called Plasma Pulses, and it's freaking amazing because it atomizes these people. Oh my goodness. That might be the coolest thing I've seen in tabs. Holy crap. This one's called the ch Charging Carnage. It just looks like a m like machine gun, a mini gun. We'll have to use the Tesla. This guy had a lot of hit points at 300, 200. The weirdest one, and I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do this, was called Gravity Backpack Guy, Gravity Dude. This guy had hit points of 3,500 according to the wiki. And he had a cost of 400? Gravity Dude. Now the next Neon unit was a sniper. Do we see anything that looks like that? Focus flare? I gotta, I gotta see this. Oh, oh, you know what? It's a focus flare. I bet all of your units would then, ranged units would focus on that guy. That would be my guess. Although this is a pretty powerful concentration ray. Hey, we got a Neon musket. Oh, he fires evaporating plasma. You know what? That's gonna work for now. Now he was incredibly weak at only 50 health, and I think his damage of evaporating the unit he hits is gonna be fine. His cost was 500. They also added a very, very unique unit called the projectile shield. I don't know how we're gonna recreate that. I think it's the mass manipulator field. Oh my gosh, he's a human Katusha launcher with like psychedelic butterfly wings sticking out of his back. <laughs> This is incredible. I think this is what I want. Now if projectiles come in here, they die. Yeah, okay, this is the unit. <laughs> oh, but once they get in there, can they shoot them? Yeah, this guy will work. Now we need a cannon. That might have to work. We'll make it neon. Now the cannon was one of the coolest things. It fired like a force field that would then suck them in. What's a stasis shot? Oh. What is a mass manipulator field? So this guy's got a cannon on his backpack. <gasps> you know what? That's it. That's the box gun, I think. <laughs> yes, that is what it did. We're gonna start out with these. We have a recreation of the original tabs campaign of the 2019 version that lets us put in our own units. This is the perfect test to see if, well, our units suck or not.
Now I'm just gonna put in 25 lasery boys and see if they can beat a bunch of, uh, you know, dudes who don't shave and uh, worship a giant woolly mammoth. The cavemen. They do have some units that can throw spears and throw rocks, but I guess you gotta get there. And I think the fire rate of our neon pistols might be a little bit much. Yeah. These guys came from another dimension and are a little too powerful. So what we're gonna do here is put in the gravity dudes, or rather like, watch, these little force fields of pink delight should block the incoming throwing spears. And then it's up to the dudes with the lightsabers, or rather the quote, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, not lightsabers, laser swords here, to start beating up the guys with the battle axes. And it's not working. We're gonna need reinforcements because this level is absolutely overflowing with cavemen. Why don't we try some of our beamer riflemen and a few pistols? I don't know the best way to balance this faction. I can't wait to see, wait a minute. I need to see that again because this entire row of men just disappears as they get atomized. Let's see this in slow motion. Wait till you see the salvo of the muskets go off. Okay, I think it's happening right now, and they're literally gone. They are atomized. <laughs> I wonder how many atomization musket rounds it takes to atomize an Oliphant, a woolly mammoth, a tank of the ancient world, because I think that would be the, oh my gosh. It actually happens, he just disappeared. It's like he wasn't even there. Okay, our beamer rifles are even more overpowered. The laser pistols are overpowered, the beamer rifles are overpowered. Did we make any balanced units in our custom neon faction? But what I was saying is I can't wait to see the neon factions that the community creates. I think we need to make this woolly mammoth disappear. It's almost like these cavemen are like using this as a giant like bunker system or, or sandbags to block the incoming laser beams. That being said, a few of them do make it in here. And I still think that's the absolute coolest effect in the game. Like, right here in this little wisp of stars was once a Tab's wobbly wobbler. And they're gone. <laughs> it's incredible. I don't know if we're going to get these guys up on this cliff. But remember that we can take control of a unit. Ooh, that's actually not half bad. Oh, there's like a little rock blocking the way. Moving on to the next level, we make it into the Shire, where Sam and Frodo are off to ride a wagon and throw apples at their neighbor. But their neighbors are from the future. What do we want here? Let's try out Gravity Dude. I mean, when messing with hobbits, a bunch of Gravity Dudes seem to be in order. And we're going to support them with the Tesla Coil guys. Just a few. I don't think we're gonna need a lot of units. Oh my gosh, they've got poisony potions and they're coming in from everywhere. But this is what happens when you can combine a ton of the gravity dudes. Oh wait, who's throwing the crows? Oh yeah, this guy. One of the original tabs bosses, at least from the 2019 version. When I say original, I guess I'm not really using it properly because the game came out sort of not really, but was sort of there in 2016. It's crazy to think that this channel was arguably started on tabs in 2016, and that's like seven years ago. Since then, we've gone on to play hundreds of different games. We've even started developing games, and I'm even working on a secret project right now that I can't wait to share with you soon. Here's a hint. All of us will be able to play it together. Now, this is a fun map because we have this boss unit here. We've got some units hiding out in the high forests or <laughs> the forest it's not a forest it's a farm we're gonna want some beamers we're gonna want some energy swordmen to take the brunt of the oncoming cavalry and what sir what is wrong with your kneecap <laughs> what is he doing is he trying to like bike pedal this faster we're gonna want some projectile shields protecting our beamer snipers and let's get some box gun artillery pieces i'm not sure how these guys are gonna work and behind the not Jedi Padawans are some dudes with uh, blasters, you know, the stormtroopers, right? Because it's the Clone Wars and we got clone troopers and Jedis fighting together because you know what? Darth Sidious has an order to execute 66 and everyone's just happy and they all lived happily ever after and not all the Jedis died. See, that's the thing about the Neon Faction is like you can't watch the Neon Faction and not be reminded of Star Wars. Unless of course you have no idea what Star Wars is. In which case, congratulations. 
You have some amazing movies to check out. So the Beamer Rifles, guys. Oh, thank goodness. I thought they were gonna back march all the way off the field and we would lose this battle due to stupidity, but that's not the case and I think this guy's about to get a Beamer Rifle. Also, look at the size of his head, it's so small. Get beamed. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Hey, buddy, get beamed. He, that's Blitz's laugh. Did you know that? I'm pretty sure that's Blitz's laugh. <laughs> this is amazing. The gravity distortion on units is incredible. You may dispatch him. So moving on to the next level, we have a veritable force of medieval knights. A king, some religious priestesses, and a Robin Hood? on a tower sniping at us? Oh yeah, and some musicians, because why not? We're gonna need something incredibly powerful. This was the box gun, right? I also custom built a guy called a Tesla cannon. Let's just see what these things do. Now, the sniper probably might get an arrow off before one of them gets to fire, in which case we'll use a gravity distortion protection field. It's a lot of words to say something to project against projectiles. Oh, it... Okay, the box gun kind of worked. It stopped a catapult rock, like, in mid-air. <laughs> Are these two guys alone gonna defeat this army? Okay, one of them has to get... Ooh, that king almost got hit in the nether region with a giant rock, which, well, would have hurt and would have made succession a little bit difficult. Okay, that didn't work. And I want to see how few units we can use. <laughs> the neon weapons... It seems like there's less, like, of original Neon units. It's hard to create some of them, but there's definitely more weapon systems and abilities than were originally in the 2016 version. The one that came out in December. So December 2016 to December 2022. Six years had gone by to when I had made my first Tabs Neon video. And when, and the last time we created a Tabs video. That's insane to me. All right, Beamer Rifle, it's all up to you. If you finish this guy, okay, he basically just shrugged off an atomization round. We're gonna need more blasters. Yeah, I think these guys need to lower their fire rate because they're pretty incredible and I think, look at that. Oh, see, this is just battlefield physics at its finest. Archer was up here, gets shot, falls off the tower, does cartwheels all the way down to our viewing delight. You gotta love this game. There's just no other game like it. Can one of every one of our neon units beat that giant army faced in front of us? Because this might be where we need to put in the final official neon unit. <laughs> Gravity backpack is like flying right now. There's a lot of really, really good ways to distort the enemy army. Come on. Hit him with a beamer rifle. He's being healed by the medics. We're losing artillery. Oh, that guy, where did he go? There was a dude here, now it's just a blaster. He got hit by a catapult and he's gone forever. So I think it's clear to beat a giant guy with a sword, we need a giant guy with a sword. The final neon special boss unit. Oh, hey, beamer rifle. Once again, the beamer rifle is gonna have a bad day because you're dumb. <laughs> Now the ultimate neon unit, the boss of the faction, was the twin lightsaber. Basically Darth Maul, and of course he's fighting a guy with a fan because, oh my goodness. Only in tabs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> According to the wiki, he had 6,000 hit points and his cost was only 800. The estimated cost here was 3,100. We could give him the monkey king jump. Oh, but then he has a tail. Super jump. Oh, where did he go? Oh yeah, this is gonna work fantastically. Darth Maul has entered the game. Now that we have him, we can flank him by his acolytes or padawans, whatever you wanna call them. This guy is about to try to defeat that entire army by himself. Look at this. You know how there's like really good physics? Wouldn't it be really cool if like certain weapons, like say energy swords could actually cut through things? Now obviously, in the totally accurate world, if you have a twin-handed lightsaber, you're gonna hold it behind your back like you're pretending it's like, you know, a wooden bicycle. I don't even know what that meant. What does that mean? It's like bicycle handles. Now, where is he? He's just like not holding his sword properly at all. 
<laughs> and it's hilarious because he's still doing a pretty dang good job and that is the sweet taste of victory. Could we win an entire campaign battle with just using them? So let's see, there's a giant ballista in the back. So if this guy can dispatch that ballista before he dies, I think that would be really, really good. Because the Minotaur is doing a pretty good job messing people up. This guy's like break dancing and his head is really small. I don't know why, but that always gets a laugh out of me. Someone's firing lightning bolts and it's not Palpatine, it's Zeus. I almost said Dr. Zeus. You know, the guy who wrote the children's books? I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's Dr. Seuss, not the Greek god Zeus. Here we are, have had too much coffee today. Now, who's left alive? What? Is this tab stuff again, guys? Is there a guy stuck in... Oh, okay, it's just Dr. Zeus over here. <laughs> look, at, look at this. These guys look, hey, I'm gonna try to climb the stairs by getting stuck in walls. All right, <laughs> your head is stuck in a wall, but we got the victory. So now I think before we fight this battle, we're gonna create the most powerful unit in tabs and put him up on this temple as if he's a god and he's gonna have to destroy this entire faction by himself. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, it's glorious. Okay, we're gonna remove one because we want a projectile pack so he can shoot projectiles, I think. His own projectiles get through it. Where did you go? What? How did you die? Oh, he got hit by a cannonball. Oh no, he got hit by angels. Yeah, that's gonna work. Oh, the stasis storm is amazing. It stops units. And with your other arm, we're gonna be giving you a brake blaster. Yeah, that seems about right. Now, if you're a neon god like he is, you're gonna look like this. But you're also gonna be from the future, so we're gonna give you a lab coat. And you know what? No pants. <laughs> your hit points are gonna be, let's say, 2,000. And you know what? Your name is gonna be Dr. Zeus. <laughs> and your price is gonna be 1,000 because it's overpowered. Now to see if Dr. Zeus alone can beat the entirety of this faction. Wait a minute, are there people hiding over here or something? What are you doing? Dr. Zeus, buddy, can you shoot bad guys, please? Okay, there's someone hiding in a tree. It was a guy with a club. All right. Oh my goodness, he just got hit with a minotaur. Yes, he can freeze him with his freezy ray. <laughs> and plasma katusha launcher. This is what it looks like from these guys' perspective. Do you want to go up those stairs and fight him? I don't think so. <laughs> and it, you can't anyway, because you're frozen stiff. <gasps> in a three-eyed minotaur? Are you kidding? I've never seen that in all of my time playing tabs. Unbelievable. This is the thing about tabs. You can play it literally hundreds of times and always see something new and different every time you play it. And that's one of the best things about it. Ouch, that really hurts. Three-eyed minotaur. That goes down in history as the coolest multi-eyed variant I've ever seen. And that is victory. Our neon faction is a little bit overpowered. So we're gonna upload my neon faction. We're gonna call it humor and pop culture. Baron Vaughn Games totally accurate balance the infection. And there you go. Go play it, at least on Wednesday. I'm gonna release this over the weekend. If you guys wanna see more tabs, pull the trigger on the like button, let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.